Mr. Tso. Hey, Chasda. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? No, I'm good. I'm yeah, good. lovely I'm to good. see you, man. No, thanks, man. Yeah, thanks, you know, man. I actually feel like um, I'm talking to my uncle, actually. <laughs> um, the way I'm so young. And when I look at you, I actually, I feel like it's not even, I feel like you are literally a legend, basically. No, thanks, my brother. Thanks, man. But I yeah, you know you, <laughs> you're not young. It's, it's, I would put it per se. Yeah. But in terms of the game, I would say, yeah, you are. Yeah, I'm yeah, young. Yeah. Yeah. So you have experienced so many things basically in life. Um, there's a lot that has been happening. Mm. Uh, but actually, mm. anyway, I actually wanted to thank you for joining me today here on Justify My New Podcast. Mm. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, how are you feeling? Uh, just a look, I'm. Um, <sighs> I'm so humble to be here. Yeah. You know, uh, it's, I would say this space, it's not easy to be in this space. So yeah. When you say to me, I must come on this space, and then I was like, wow. Yeah. This guy wants me here. <laughs> no, because you're a legend. He's a big man. Yeah. You're a legend. Big, no, but to come to your, to, to, to yeah. a place like this, I mean, it's, yeah, it's it's something that I will say maybe a lot of people they want to be here and, mm, and mm. thanks thanks for inviting me, my brother. Thank yeah, no much. stress, Mister. So I actually wanted us to talk about you per se. I know a lot of people they know you, um, but for somebody who doesn't know you, maybe let's take it back, Mister. So for the people that know you basically as as a football person, as a football mm. legend, basically, yeah. Mister. So why football, basically? I mean, like you could have been anyone. The way you're so talkative, you could have been a lawyer, <laughs> you could have been a businessman. Yeah. I mean, like you are a businessman now. But maybe let's take it back. Why football, Mister. So? Um, you know, you know, just that is just. One person that when he says yes, you can mm. say no. Uh, I remember at school I was uh, initially I was playing a cricket, so uh, I was a good bowler playing cricket. And one day, obviously, I mean, as kids from Ekas, mm -hmm. we play challenges, you know, two baller, one baller every time after school. And one day it happens that team, um, our team. Uh, our school was playing and one of the players didn't come to the game. So now one of the teachers said, hey man, where are the boys that they normally play here after school? Mm. So that one of them was coming at, mm. you know, in the team. And then they said, no, this one, this one, this one. So everyone pointed me mm. to say, no, this one must go in. Mm. And then I went in and play. After that game, they said to me, forget about cricket. Forget, forget about cricket, just focus in soccer. So I was like, no ways. So I played cricket, soccer, cricket, soccer. So the thing was, cricket, you'll go to cricket Saturday, 8 o'clock, must be at El, El Castilla. You'll be there the whole day. And, you know, soccer, you play a league also on Saturdays, maybe around 11, 12. So I end up. Uh, 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 living cricket and then I played soccer. Mm -hmm. Were you yeah. not a bit scared with the guys that are a little bit taller than you? I mean, like you shot. Uh, it just, uh, you know, I, I would say growing up, I didn't worry about those things. Mm -hmm. I would put it in that manner. I, um, I just played the game and, you know, as a young boy, as a cast, you just want to play, play, play. You had so much you confidence, know. basically. Yeah, and, and I would say also I had good teammates, mm. you know, and that's one thing that I think, um, uh, you know, the men above blessed me with that, mm. that I was mm. always having good teammates so mm. that, you know, everyone can balance, anyone can shine in mm. that team. Mm. Yeah, so I didn't worry much. Uh, yes, you know, you hear people, ah, I shoot, I shoot, mm. and all of that, mm. yeah. But, uh, you know, I was not that worried. Uh, but I continue to work hard. Oh, that's nice. I mean, like you are the highest, most uh, goal scorer in the history of Orlando Pirates. Maybe let's fast forward quickly. Yeah. When you got that call, I don't know if, I think at the time, maybe it was SMSs or public phones. <laughs> um, I'm sure you had an agent. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just take us back in terms of um, when you got that message to say, look, uh, we actually want you to come and play for Orlando Pirates. Uh, I remember... You know, it was a tricky one, Justice. You mm. know, let me, let me, I'll go back a bit, but then, then be fast forward yeah, very yeah. quickly. Uh, we, we went to Peru 97 with our school and uh, Coach Palacios was, the coach was preparing us to go and play the World Cup, the school's World Cup, mm. where we lost in the semi-final. And then coming back, 
Then I was looking for a team. You know, I went to train with Chiefs, Cosmos, Real Rovers. Um, then I went to Sundowns. When a uh, coach, uh, the lady Ted Dumitro, may you so rest in peace, he was there at Sundown. Then coach Ted knew me. Mm. When we were preparing to go to the World Cup, we, 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 we were playing for the games against his, his team, of which at that time they used to call them Highlands. Is it Highlands? Highlands North. Okay. Yeah, there was, a, there's a, there was a school there, Highlands North. So we used to, they had good players. Mm. They were from School of Excellence. So they had uh, and that team. And then that team, they were part of a Sunhouse development. <clears throat> Sorry. So uh, then I went to, to, to train with them. And I trained with them for a week. And then coach the, the lead tent, then he wanted me to come to the senior team. Mm -hmm. And I remember coach Pizzo used to fetch me at, at school, take me to training, bringing me back later. Mm -hmm. You know, he, 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 he was, he shown, you know, when, when, when I'm saying he show, he shows at that time that he, he, he's a father. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he used to come and fetch me and bring me back and all of that. And then, Sundowns, they, they were prepared to sign me. I remember it was Wednesday. And on Friday, I must go and sign a contract with Sundowns. Mm. Uh, on Wednesday, Palacios came, came to our school. Then said, hey, look, uh, the chairman wants to see you. The chairman is, hi. <laughs> and the chairman wants to see me. Yeah, so I thought he was joking. Mm -hmm. You know, so the chairman wants to see you. Uh, he will come uh, around uh, 3 o'clock. Okay, fine. So when I get home, I told my father, hey, man. man. Uh, Paolo just came and then said, no, the chairman, he, he wants to see me. Okay, no, let's wait and see. Uh, then the chairman came with um, the with, contract. He, no, he, oh, no, he came oh. with uh, Coach Palachos. Okay. And I was like, what? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, and I went in, then I told my father, and then yeah. they came in, came inside. At and the then time you were staying, why? You I was still were... staying at home. Oh, where? So where to? Is yeah. Oh, so okay. the deep roof. Yeah. So uh, they spoke to my father to say, no, look, we want your son to come and, you know, play for us. And, you know, uh, parents, parents are big team and all of that. And then my father told him that, no, but this boy is supposed to go and sign for Sundance on Friday. Mm. So he said, so no. you uh, wanted? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, the late coach said to me, I really mm. wanted me to sign with Sundowns. Mm. And, you know, I was training also with the senior team. And, you know, I was familiar with almost a lot of things of Sundowns at that time. So uh, I will even say I was more comfortable, you know, to, to, to also to be there. But, you know, they spoke with my father and my father agreed. Then uh, that's how I went to Sundown. I, I went to Pirates. So when you got to Pirates, um, obviously you signed a contract. Uh, yeah. Did you sign the, some sort of a signing? On yeah. you? And it, how much were you getting? You know, just um, to be honest, I, 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 yes, I, I, I remember I got 70,000, uh, uh, signing on fee. If I'm not mistaken, I think yes. This was one, 2000, uh, was it 1999? Yeah. 70,000. Uh, yeah, I think, no, 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 not 70, no, no. It was, it was 35,000. 35, yeah, it was 35,000. Signing on fee, yes. I remember with that 35,000, I bought a car for my father. Oh, uh, what, well, what was the car? Um, a Toyota Taz. So basically, you were right. thanking your father to say, look, yeah, thank um, you, man. You know, when, you, when, you, <laughs> when your father's going to work, you know, he's taking ticks and all of that. Yeah. So I decided to buy him um, a, a, a conquest. Okay. Taz. Yeah. Um, you know, in terms of money, justice, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I don't know whether I would say I was ignorant mm -hmm. or I didn't know. Uh, it was not something that uh, I, I will put my mind in it. I, I don't know how to put it. How much were you getting? So it was a signing on fee, 35000 uh, And per month, how much were you getting? I think I was getting 1.5. 1.5. Yeah. But that was... That was a lot in nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, nineteen ninety nine. That was yeah. a lot. That was yeah, a I lot think, of money. Yeah, I think yeah, I think it I was mean, one point like, five. I mean, like now it should be. I don't know how much would would, but well, sure at the time, but that's, things were cheap. But that's <laughs> a fun, the funny thing. Justice is that yes, you say it's 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 a lot of money, 
But you know when you when you get money you go home. It's not only you. Yeah. You've got your siblings. Yeah. You know and you know now uh, I remember that time I think my father um he was not working anymore. Yeah, he was not working anymore. Mm. Am I correct? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I was not working anymore. So you know now that when the man comes in uh then my father needs to do things at home. So you so you ba- the 1.5 when you're getting it you basically have to split it basically. Yeah, I need to go home and then uh, my my father used to you know to do things for all of us, mm. you know. I'm going to school, eating, buying clothes and all those things. And you know as a young boy I was it was something that was not in me to say hey you know hey, I want man and all of that no I wanted to play you know and thanks that Paris they gave me that opportunity to to play for the team how was it, the experience when you f- like you first scored your goal <laughs> like boom you know just um, by the um, way I tried to look for that goal yeah man you know I I, <laughs> I couldn't find it's been, it it's been years also yeah. it's been years also to me uh trying to get trying to get uh my, my first face. goal oh yeah you know uh, uh, i don't i don't know i don't know how i missed it i don't know i don't know how i missed it and uh, i just hope maybe one thing uh you know the the, the that picture will come mm. will come back to me because i you know i would sit down and and think try to look back to see maybe in my memory somewhere mm. um uh, i'll get the picture where i i scored my first goal uh, but i um I, i don't remember i'm not gonna lie i don't remember So Mr. Tso, it's the so you're playing for Orlando Pirates, yeah. right? It's the 11th of April 2001. Yeah. So we're to Derby. Um Ellis Park mm. Stadium. Um obviously I think it's like 40 43 or 46 people 43. lost their 43 people mm. lost their lives on that day. And uh, you were there and you scored. Please tell me how was that day before the incident that took place like the morning where you had to wake up from the morning at home going into the bus at the club how was that day basically was it a beautiful day was it an exciting day for you before the incident that took place um no just uh, it was just um, a normal day I will, i will put it in that way because uh, i remember Um, a day before we had a training session yeah. you know and we practicing you know we said pieces and and it happens that uh, there was a save that Opara made uh, 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 in those um I said pieces yeah. and it just fall here in front of me then I scored and yeah, i yeah, said yeah. to them you see how i scored now it was a corner ne? yeah it was a yeah. corner kick yeah so yeah. i said you see now the way i scored now tomorrow watch i'm going to get it in this position this yeah. way i'm going to score yeah i said against chiefs are you mad you're playing games there's no yeah. way yeah yeah <laughs> there's no way yeah. and um no, it was a normal one you know training we went to the camp and then we yeah have our team talk no eat go to to the game and look it was you 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 could feel you could feel as a player that you know this game today you're going to feel, to go to go we're going to play a very tough game and uh you know as we enter the stadium yeah you suspect the ha- the yeah i know yeah, the, the energy yeah, yeah. yeah man you, you can see you know the supporters are singing cheese parents and Yeah even when we go and home up now you can feel the vibe but I was mm. I was a bit scared. Mm. Yeah I was I was I was a bit scared and so you know the senior guys you know they could see that time and this one he's he's, he's not okay. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. shaking a bit and they Never tried was. to you know, talk to me you know inside when we were home up and giving me the the ball you know just to have touches control the ball so that I can you know take that fear away mm. you know um, and then the game started just uh, Uh, I've never played a game like that in my life. Mm. Where you'll watch opponents having good touches, good t- you smile mm. as an opponent watching them. You I'm, I'm <laughs> in the field of play. Play against chips. You know you see pa pa 
ba 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 ish sho yeah. now you like shoo. <laughs> you already this code now it's us now mm. we also you know it was Creating a buzzing chances. look yeah. it was a buzz until him to need the electric score the goal then i was like wow now you could hear that the whole crowd is like stadium is crazy oh yeah it's, it was crazy justice and i was like <sighs> no you just look at each other and then hey hey let's go let's go come on i know just a Mm. I've never played a game like that in my life. Mr. So, so when the incident started to happen and people now they are on the pitch what what really took place there what what really happened there? Just um or were you just focusing on the ball and all of a sudden no. We we were not aware I will put it in that manner because um after I scored a goal I had I did a uh, a uh, uh, a different celebration okay and and i don't know what is that celebration means and uh, which just you happened aware that night. did you plan the celebration or it just happened pa. no that one is just happened yeah uh, normal i've got my own style of celebration yeah, yeah, but yeah. on that night you know i just celebrated in a different manner and the uh, when we are about when we are about to start I mean, we're about to choose when you're about to start mm. kicking the ball in terms of uh, starting the ball in the center. Mm. That's when uh, they stop us to say, wait, wait, guys, there's something that's happening there. You mm. know, wait. And then we waited. And then that's when we were told that, look, the people that the, have died there, there was a stampede. Mm. So the game is not going to go on. Mm. So it was it was a sad night, just as it was a sad night and you know eh uh, justice when you you gonna lose your son your brother your father your sister your mother your cousin your uncle it's 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 something that you you no one will take it eh uh, you 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 look back and say to yourself <laughs> especially me you know i i i blamed myself until you know the uh, people supporters you know psychologist they made me realize and see that in, in life uh, certain things they happen for a reason and uh, the sad part of justice is that uh, you know there were kids yeah there were kids and uh when 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 we are a parent uh your son said to mommy i'm going to watch the game i'm coming back and then you're gonna get a call to say look come and take your son from this position that's something else yeah it's very painful mr zo because i saw one family where um the father took the son to the stadium mm. and um and they the the father called the mom back home because the mom thought no they just go into a game you know how football is it's fun it's it's connection to people connection to the game and when the father called the mom that uh this is what happened it, it it's very painful you know when football is supposed to be about enjoyment and and it turns into something like that you know and i and i'm sure uh, obviously i know that south african football as a whole whether fans or management or teams they've learned a lot from that situation that's why today the derbies are no longer being played at night <clears throat> but they are being played at at three, you know and i'm so sorry about what happened to the families i'm so sorry Um I know I was still young and you scored an amazing goal Mr. Zo and I don't even know what to say but um I'm so sorry Mr. Zo the way you felt on that day it was a complication of a feeling whereby now you scored all of a sudden this is happening this is happening this is happening you know and um yeah I hope you find peace yeah, football is about joy and it just happened that this happened you know in the history of south african football 
it broke the news worldwide. And um, but anyway, Mr. Zo, um, thank you so much for standing up. Thank you so much for being strong for that day. You know, and, yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Zo. Yeah, just you know, and it just that uh, some things in life we cannot change. We just have to live with it. And uh, I know it's hard even to some families because I remember that as us, most of black people, that you'll find it with the disappeared winner in that, yeah, in family. that mix, yeah, you yeah. know, and now they just need to, to find a way for themselves to live, mm. you know. And yeah, uh, one thing that uh, the supporters always say, so it's not you. Uh, you can feel the way you feel as 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 a human being, but it's not you. Um, mm -hmm. You can be somebody else score a goal, and you know if something has to happen, has to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, yeah, I always say to the families, look, these weeds that I've got, uh, uh, that I when I think about that. Uh, night and I always say to myself look yes we all all of us were hurt we said we cried mm. uh, some didn't uh, sleep properly you know but there's one thing that uh, gives me a bit of a courage and, and stand strong is that mm. those people were there to see their players, their favorite players, and the team that they support. They were in a place where they were happy. Uh, yes, no one wants uh, their loved ones not to come back home. But you know, when you look at it to say, uh, they went there to watch their players, to watch their team, their favorite team. And it happened that on that night, it was their night to say goodbye to everyone and mm. the good thing is that they were in a good place where they love. Mm. Thank you so much, Mr. So anyway, um, maybe let's fast forward um, <laughs> the football of today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Justice Shabalahan. <laughs> you guys are so angry with the style of football that's been played in South Africa currently excluding sundowns are you happy with how the football has been played today versus the football of the olden generation tell me about the the football of today and what do you think about the football of today look just uh, I, I I don't have a problem per se yeah uh uh, because I believe that uh, if if we brothers mm. and I I just put the foundation, I expect to to you know go on you know put the bricks uh, try and put the wall and let's build that house. Yeah. But now if sorry or do a foundation, and then instead of you coming and put the bricks in that foundation, you come and put the grass. On that foundation, then there's a problem. Because uh, our football, I think, in terms of us going forward, went back. Mm. It's not something that started now. Yeah, it didn't start now, Justice. And and people, I want uh, uh, our people to 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 be really honest and look back. Our football, we didn't have a continuity after that team of the under-23s of the Olympics. Mm. That's where we lost it. That's where we lost the football from there. Because after that under-23, it came us with under-20s. But there was no continuity also on that. But Mr. Zo, is, isn't it shortcuts in signing players? Because the people that make the magic are the players. No, that's why I'm saying we, 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 had, we had good people at that time mm. in terms of Having those pool of players of under 23 for the Olympics, having those pool of players under 20, you know, if we had the very same people that they've identified these players mm. and continue with them, 
I'm telling you, uh, uh, even now, we're not going to have this problem. I'll ask you now a question. Where is Farouk Khan? Where is uh, 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 Palashus? Um, is Sembata, is, 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 is with Sundowns. Where is the Bondangalala? Where is the Sudesh? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just mentioning the few. They've been in this game. They know players. They know how to develop players. Are we giving them a, 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 a support? Remember, Paris and Chiefs, they used to dominate. You know why? They had Palacios the development of Paris. These are Chiefs, they had Farouk Khan. At that time, Sanders they didn't have anyone in that development. Mm. So, Farouk and, 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 and Palacios, they used to develop players. I come from there. Abu Chabu Pule comes from there, Chabu Matlang today. He comes from Farouk Khan, Abu Chunia Kanyi. You can name them, Isaac Mabuza, uh, Ed Pirati, Joseph Makanya, Lebukang Mukwena, the late gift the You can name them. But Mr. So we are here now. What yeah. went wrong? It, it, it's when we move, when we move in terms of taking mm. these guys out. Excluding the them from the game. Yeah. Because now they, they were helping the game to develop. There were people that they, they would go around and get Abu Abu So Abu Ma, yeah. Makanya Abu Chabu Pule Abu Junior Kanyi Abu Skapi Malats. These guys they were doing that. Isn't it because of these guys are expensive or something? No, no, they're not expensive because if you look, that's a standard. because clubs are trying are trying to to save money, Mister. No, no, you know the the, the problem is that uh, uh, Jasper, when 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 you want to save money. But you want to win trophies, it's impossible. If you want to save money, then make sure that you go to development. Work, get somebody. Like now, I'll mm. put it now. Mm. Paris and Chiefs. Let them get those guys that they did very well mm. in, in, in that development. Then they'll make them save money. Paris, there was a time where at Paris, and nine players from a development were mm. on the first lineup. So it tells you that Palacios was doing a good job. Very same side, this side, Farouk Khan. There was a time when you see about Derek Spencer, Tanta Kupega, Isaac Mabuza, Puti uh, Sitole, uh, Junior uh, Kanye, Chabu Pule. You can, like, there were about 10, 11 players. Of them from the development. Where we are right now. Yeah. Where we are. I'm not talking about the past. I'm talking yeah, about no. where we are yeah. right now. Yeah. Out of 10, mm -hmm. how do you rate South African football? Out of 10. <sighs> uh, should I, in that 10, should I also add sundowns to that list of South African teams? <laughs> or must I cut them out? Okay. Because Maybe let, was, let's, let's have two options. Ne? Inclu number one, including yeah. Sundowns, out of 10. Um, out of 10, let me give you, let me give you three. Mm. Out of 10. <laughs> uh, Why? Yeah. One, Sundowns. Two, uh, Stellenbosch, they, 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 there's something good that they're cooking. Mm. I've been telling uh, 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 you guys about Stellenbosch. I've been watching Coach Steve Parker. Mm. There's something good that they're doing. They're, they're, coming coming they, they, they're I'm, cooking I'm, something. I'm telling you, yeah. I uh, because he's not that Steve Parker, the one that was coaching him attacks. He's different altogether. He's he's cooking, and he's cooking top notch. Watch the space, and Eric Tingler. Uh, yes, he, he, he did lose players there and there. Same, mm. same with, with, with him, Steve Parker. Mm. They lost players where they had to go. But um, he's having a decent team. He, they, they just need to, to, to try and maintain. Those are the three teams for me that I would say, yeah, man, yeah. They're we, doing something. Yeah, there's something that they're doing it right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, let's exclude my melody sound dance. Yeah. Look. I want us to be realistic and be honest. And us, we need to look at each other and mm. say, at that time when they were doing this, what were we doing? Sundowns, when they were buying players all over, uh, everyone was laughing at Sundowns to say, uh, yeah, Sundowns, they're buying all the players. Man can buy success. Mm. I was also part of those players that were bought by Sundowns. 
We've never won anything. Mm. So everyone was laughing. So now, the very same money that he was using, now he's winning trophies. Now I'm saying to the teams, when Sundowns was buying players, what were you guys doing? It didn't look at the future, plan for the future, and say this guy. Is, we all knew, Chester. Mm. We yeah. all knew when MCP put the team. We all knew MCP has got money. There's no excuse. Yeah, no, Mister. So let's wrap, let's wrap it up. Um, with where we are right now, where yeah. do you see South African football? Look, let's we, say six six years from now, the, ten years. From there's now. a room for improvement, Justice. We we we, we just need but to. How do we improve, Mister? We Tso? improve when we go and invest in development. If you're gonna go and invest in development, uh, look, people they're getting confused sometimes. When I'm saying let's go and invest in development, we need to invest in coaches. One, when invest in coaches, mm. we're gonna the same coaches. They're gonna go and and go to 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 a mine oh, and dig a coal that is rough, because now we did we did invest in that coach, but now we want a coal that is shining now today. How are you gonna carry justice when you you didn't invest in somebody that can go and dig that coal? Now we cutting corners because if we want that coal that is shining, then go and invest in somebody that is gonna go. They under the ground and dig and dig and get that rough diamond and come and polish and put it on top of but the table. That's why it's like they're taking shortcuts. Man. That's why like that's that. why I'm that's why I'm saying, Mr. Jasta, that oh, if you want a shine diamond, invest to a person that needs to go and dig. There's no way that diamond will come and sit here. Never. It never happened. So we need to invest in coaches. I believe that's where the problem starts with me. But if you can't invest, we, in we, we spoke about it. Like right now, after the game, when we were watching the game, I said to you guys, I was like, I actually want to understand: is the coach involved in signing players? And you guys were like, Nah, it's only the management. Like, just, uh, just, uh, in, in, you know, that's why I'm saying um, when, 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 when I said, let's invest in coaches. So that uh, but if the we management in coaches, Mister. So we must also invest in players. Yeah, before we can invest in players, who needs to appoint the players? It's the coach. It's the coach, yeah. Yes, but if we didn't invest in you, Justice, as a coach, there's no way you're gonna see the players. We will buy players for you because we didn't invest in you. But if we invested in you, like Umsipe did about Uludzano Coach Pizzo, he invested in Coach Pizzo. That's why Coach Pizzo managed to get all these quality players in his team and dominate our league. Hi, Mr. So let's close it. 2020, yeah. 2022, 2023. Yeah. DSTV Premiership. Who's your player of the season? I give to Timbers One. Why? Timbers One has been consistent. He, he, he played top football Champions League. Oh jeez, I thought you were going to give it to my Lula. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I like the boy. Oh, Saleh. Uh, no, look, I, these boys for me, I love them. Saleh, Mayema, uh, um, yeah, Saleh, Mayema, my Lula, Shalulile, mm. you know, uh, I love these boys. They they doing very well, you know. Mm. But unfortunately, I have to select one, you know. And for me, I think um, Umshishi did very well. You know, he's been consistent from last season. He he didn't take his his his, his pedal off. You know, he's been pressing and pressing. And one thing that I'm very impressed about uh, uh, Ngaye is that. He, he just, you know, put another gear on top because mm. we, uh, I thought he doesn't have speed, mm. you know. But now I can see the different Mshish. And for me, yeah, I will, I, he's, he's my player of the season. Player of the season? Yeah. Um, top strike. Ah, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, just <laughs> don't ask me again. <laughs> you know. Top strike. I'm ah, sure. that's top, my, top strike. You know my player. Top strike, I'm Mr. Shalulile. Mm. No turning back. 
Look, Jasta, we can't all be superstars. You need somebody that's going to head the ball. You need somebody that's going to dribble. You need somebody that's going to shoot. So when you put Shalulele inside the box, I'm telling you, watch him. Top midfielder. Top midfielder, uh, I'll give, I'll give Mukwen. Uh, Mukwen, standouts. Coach of the season. Ah, Roland Mukwen, no doubt. I mean, uh, check their record. I think he considered 18 goals, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Yeah, so, <laughs> who else? Goalkeeper of the season. Rowan? No doubt. I mean, no one can beat him. I mean, after he considered 18, check others. I considered more than 80. So, no one, I would say, really is coming closer to him. Except if Onyango or Kennedy Mnwene, they were playing somewhere else. Then, yeah, the competition was going to be very tough. The poor and poor, poorest of them all. Player. <laughs> Just... Oh, yeah, 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 just I don't know, that's a tough one because now it means I have to look at the team that is at the bottom because that's where I think you will get. Uh, you never know, player. Mr. Zoe. It might be, no, nah, there's no way. Number six no, 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 you can't have, you can't have, Mamelodi, uh, no, 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 you can't have a poor player, Orlando uh, Pirates. no, no, you can't have, no, you, 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 you can find a player that he constantly makes the very same mistakes, but doesn't mean that he's poor. Okay. Yeah, and then there's a, a player that is poor that is, he's been given a chance, but he doesn't perform very well. You know, mm. uh, you can only look at, uh, you know. Uh, let's let's not name the yeah, player. Yeah, please. <laughs> let's. Yeah, okay, uh, that let, one let, is, is a very difficult it, one. It yeah. might destroy the yeah his confidence. Confidence, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, poor team of the season. Yeah, I would say my respect. They're right at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. It's 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 easy to say that because unfortunately, um, yeah, yeah, no. When you're at the bottom, <laughs> it means that's you. We can't name uh, Colin Arrows when they are up there mm. and leave you when you are down there. It's impossible. So, yeah, Marusberg they down there down. That's the poor team. Mister Zoh, would, would your son, would you allow your son to play for Alanda Parrot? Uh, just, uh, I'm not gonna stop my kids to play for any team. Uh, the only thing that I will need is just the respect. Mm. That's all. Do you guide your son in terms of finances? Yeah. So uh, that he doesn't make the same mistakes. Definitely. That you did, just, yeah. uh, you know, that's one thing that I always say to, to, to my kids that uh, you guys are lucky mm. because I've played the game. Uh, uh, um, I did, you know, run this race. So I know. Uh, compared to me, that uh, no one was there for me mm. to say, boy, look, take that two rand, put that one rand there and stay with one rand. No one was there for me. Uh, another thing is that maybe it's because of, you know, the family background in mm. the sense that, uh, you know, uh, we had only our father because my mother, you know, she died when I was nine years old. Mm. So we grew up with our father and, you know, and our sisters were about six. You know, so obvious when the man comes in, we need to cater for everyone, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and at that time my father was not working. So I, I said to, to, to my son, look, you, you lucky. Your mother, she's working. Mm -hmm. I'm working. Mm -hmm. uh, we taking care of, I'm um, taking care of my kids. Mm -hmm. So you've got, you don't have a dog, you don't have a cat. <laughs> we are alone. So you, you've got all the time to put the money away. Take the man, try and put the man away. And one thing that I don't want to do is to really take from him and put it away. I'm teaching him. I'm guiding him. If he doesn't want to take that, I cannot force him. Remember that uh, our kids, they've got rights, you know. Mm. So if he doesn't want to do something, we cannot force him. But the, the only thing that I can do is to give him a guide. To say, boy, here's a guide. I made this mistake. Mm. Don't do this do this because after four years you will look back and cry you know mm. so do this while you know you still have time in your hands then after three years you know it whatever that you're doing now is going to work for you after three years for now just do this and then focus on your game 
that's it. Mr. So you've done so many mistakes and mm -hmm. um, you know, the current players at the moment, you know, they're flexing Gucci bags, they're flexing, yeah. you know, proper cars, super cars, yeah. Rolexes. Mm -hmm. What's your message to all of them out there in terms of their finances? Because there's been so many trending videos and trending mm -hmm. pictures of yeah. Uh, players mm. being broke. I mean, like yourself and Junior have been on. I blew it due to circumstances. Yeah. Um. The other day, me and Gulle we went to Tembisa to see Larato Shabangu, and mm. trust me, he's not in a very good state. So, football it can be a career, but there's a point whereby everything can just finish, just like that, whether it be injury or maybe at a certain age. So what's your advice, Mr. To, to these players? Uh, just uh, one, I would say, there's nothing wrong when you buy something. There's, no, there's nothing wrong. Uh, two is that you cannot continue to do that every now and then. You know, try because and unfortunately, it just uh, is that thing. when you talk, the people, they think, yeah, no, I know he's talking now because, uh, you know, time has passed and blah, 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 and all of that. Mm. But one thing that they don't say is that the very same players now, they do exactly what we're doing. Exactly justice. Uh, the advice that I will give to the boys is that you've got 20 rand. Take five rand and put it somewhere. And then you can lose the 15 rand. It's okay. Remember, just uh, the unfortunate part is that there are few players that they stay in my team in for more than five years. Or oh, even 10. Even 10. Mind you, when you, you go for a bond of a house, it says 20 years. Mm. Uh, I, want, I want everyone to open the eyes and, and, and be realistic. You pay that house every month, paid in the contract that you've signed with it. You're not aware that that contract, it's actually five years, three years to five years, and the house that you signed for is 20, 20 years. years. The numbers are not communicating, and numbers don't lie. Just, uh, and I, I believe there's a mistake that it's happening. Because after prices in the team decide that they're not going to renew, how are you going to pay that house? How are you going to pay that car? So it's, it's, it's a sad part, just that uh, when you talk about things like this, the, the people that think you're crazy. And I'm, I'm telling you, you've signed a contract. You can go now and check players. They've signed races in three contract. Yes. Then he goes and buy a house. They are, when you go for a bond, they tell you, 20 years. Yes, yeah, we can see your salary. No, you can pay. Mm. But remember that you're not going to play football for the next 20 years. Mm. So players, they need to calculate in terms of when they spend the money and the houses that they, they buy yeah. and, 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 and the cars. Because all these things... In a space of seven years, there'll be problems. Mm. If you 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 didn't get a good signing on fee to pay off the house, mm. then you're in trouble. Because one thing for sure, just uh, I'm not I'm not creating anything here. I'm telling the reality. Mm. Even if you get that house uh, here in Santin. Uh, you buy that house uh, 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 with your signing on fee. Mm. One thing that is going to kill you on that is the levies after that three years or four years when you don't get to renew your contract. Now you are not working anymore. Who's going to pay electricity and lights for you? Electricity and water and the levies. 
So we need to look at things like that to say, look, uh, you know, look at areas where even if, let's say, maybe uh, you are no more playing professional football, maybe it depends you, 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 you are a teacher somewhere or maybe you are coaching the junior somewhere, but you can still manage to pay uh, water and electricity and also the levies of where you're going to stay. So those are the things that players they need to look at because uh, that house where you stay now, there are a few people that they had luck in that the photo's house. They get some mm. endorsement. Then they can, you know, continue pay water mm. and electricity and deliveries. Mm. But now you you bought that house with your signing on fee. Mm. And now you are out of contract. And that, that's Kukune. Mm. Uh, uh, you, you, you didn't have a team now. So how are you going to pay water and electricity and deliveries? And uh, remember that uh, the more you owe these things, that's where now they take you to court and now they'll sell your house to pay those things. Then now you've lost again. <sighs> Mr. So. Just. Thank you so much. No, pleasure. I really, 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 really cool appreciate fit. it. Um, you are a legend. Well. You are a star. Um, I don't know why on the parrot they don't create a stage for you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Richard. Maybe, maybe the future. You know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. When, 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 we when need. the men, men above says this, maybe they'll respond. We need to honor you, Mister. So I, mm. I don't think people honor you enough. Um, this thing of fans um, <sighs> overseas honoring our legends is it's not okay. It, it. I feel like sometimes it exposes how black we are. We need to, we need to, we need to, we need to appreciate you guys and the memories. I personally love you. By the way, we stay in the same complex. <laughs> so anytime, <laughs> when you're the kids, yeah. I can rush them. Yeah, please, man. Them. Hey, no, hey, these kids, you know? they always give me a headache, man. Yeah, when anything man. is wrong. So yeah. I'm personally there to assist yeah. you in terms of something that you may need. So thank you so much, Mr. So God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Chester. Sure. God bless you.